Hey, it's Mackenzie here from Cedar, and today we're going to get into the question, what's the chief of staff? So we talked with over 50 plus founders, CEOs, and former chiefs of staff, and we decided to steal the best definitions. So we came up with five major points around chief of staff. A chief of staff is a strategic advisor, a trusted confidant, a master organizer, a CEO proxy, and a executive presence coach. And I'm gonna get into each of those. So for the strategic advisor, the chief of staff can act as a sounding board and thought partner for the CEO to work through difficult problems. They can bounce ideas, pressure test new initiatives, refine the thinking of the CEO on what to do next. Those are all examples of this chief of staff playing a strategic advisor role. Related, the chief of staff is also the trusted confidant, and that means that the CEO can come to the chief of staff with a thorny problem or an issue, can confide in maybe the hopes and dreams or maybe the fears that they have for the business, and leverage the chief of staff in a way where they can speak freely and with candor around problems that they wouldn't necessarily have the freedom to do with their executive team or their board. Also mentioned that the chief of staff is a master organizer. And what that means is the chief of staff can pull together all of the strategic initiatives in the organization and track the completion of those initiatives. The chief of staff also helps manage the calendar of the CEO, making sure that they are staying on task and on priority for things that are most important to the company. And finally, the chief of staff can be the keeper of the keys to the knowledge base for the office of the CEO. So key documents that can come in there are related to the company mission, vision, and strategy. It can be a list of key terms and phrases that are commonly used in the business. And so this knowledge base kept within the office of the CEO is moderated and uh, these documents are updated by that chief of staff. Finally, I said two more things. The chief of staff can be the CEO proxy and also an executive presence coach. And so for tough matters that the CEO has no time for, for meetings that the CEO doesn't have as priority or possibility to attend in terms of those meetings, the chief of staff can act as a CEO proxy, of course, with the CEO's blessing to make decisions on behalf of the CEO and to keep the company moving towards its goals so that the CEO isn't a stopgap or a bottleneck for the company. And then finally, I said the chief of staff is a um, executive presence coach. So the chief of staff can help prepare board decks, investor decks for the CEO, can help pr prepare the CEO while they're going in for a big customer pitch. They can help the CEO prepare for a big press release or a speaking event. And then finally, the chief of staff can help look after the, the CEO's LinkedIn presence or social media presence, making sure that the online avatar of the CEO is providing information about the company, promoting the brand, giving more information about the roadmap, or also showcasing and highlighting employee achievements. So again, those are the main five aspects of the chief of staff that we identified in our interviews. Number one, the chief of staff acts as a strategic advisor. Number two, a trusted confidant. Number three, a master organizer. Number four, a CEO proxy. And number five, a executive presence coach. Hope that was helpful and follow and like for more content. Thanks.